Hi kids, my name is Mrs. Berryhill, and today we're going to be doing an art lesson revolving around the book Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Sky Color is a book about a young lady named Marisol who is getting ready to help do her part in a class mural and she can't find the right color that she needs. And on the bus ride home, she looks up at the sky and starts to come up with some ideas. Um, sky Color is a book that teaches us to look at things from a new view, from a new perspective. Um, it helps us to think outside the box and push us to new uh, levels of thinking and new levels of creativity. I love this book. It helps us to really see things in a different way. Um, it also helps teach us that even when we think we're the best and we know it all and we can do it all, there's still room to learn something new. And so I hope you enjoy this book. And when I finish reading the book, I'm going to uh, go through a real fun art lesson with you. So here it is, Sky Color. Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all of her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist though, and yet Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but couldn't find any blue. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out the window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color.
Okay, the materials that you need for this project are a clean work area. I always like to put down paper towels or newspapers or something on the table to keep the paint from getting on the table. You need your canvas that the school provided for you. You also need a roll of Scotch tape or if you have it, uh, masking tape is even better if you have it. A bowl of clean water, paint brushes, a pencil, and your palette of paint that the school provided for you. I like to place these on a piece of um, paper towel as well, so when I clean my brushes, I'll have a place to dry my uh, wet brushes off with, okay? So you have a paper towel, a clean work area, your canvas, your um, scotch tape, a bowl of water, clean water, paint brushes and a pencil, your paints the school provided. I think they're in like little bitty tubs, but I'll just put the same colors on a little butter dish lid and it works just as well. And a piece of paper towel underneath to keep things clean when we wash. All right, let's get started. Okay, so you have your canvas uh, sitting on your paper towel or your clean um, work area like your newspaper or whatever's covering your table. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to grab your tape. It can be the scotch tape or the masking tape like we talked about. And with your tape, actually I want you to turn your canvas a long way actually. With your tape, I'd like for you to tear off pieces of tape and place them on your canvas to make a fence. So fence has posts that go up and down this way. They don't have to be exactly perfectly right up and straight up and down. They can be leaning a little bit. Now, they don't all have to be exactly the same length. You can make them however you want. I think I have about four right here. I'm not sure how well you can see them, but I have four pieces of tape on my canvas. And then you're gonna string long pieces that go all the way across, okay? Like such, okay. So make sure that you are putting the tape on real tight. You don't want to leave any air bubbles. So maybe take your fingernail and kind of press the edges down really good because we're gonna paint over the top of this whole thing. So we want to make sure that uh, the paint doesn't get underneath the tape. So press that down really, really well. Okay, in sky color, Marisol decided not to use blue at all. I want you to, before you get started painting, I want you to get on um, your phone or your computer and look up actual photographs from photographers of sky colors that are not blue. So you can get um, an idea of what we're doing here. As I look over here at my palette, I've got my brush and I've got my paint. I only, you, these are the same colors that you have as well, but I would don't want you to use blue. So pretend like that blue is not even there. I don't even want you to use blue in your painting. So let's get a little paint on our brush to keep it damp while we get started. And I want you to think about all of the different things that you can make this guy. And think about some of those photographs that you saw on um, the internet other than blue of, as a color of sky. So I'm going to just paint my sky and you're gonna paint over your tape okay pretend like this is a landscape you know out in a pasture somewhere or an imaginary planet it could be the sky could be whatever colors that you wanted it to be paint blends in better when it's wet okay so don't let it dry before you pick up your next color. I don't really care for that green, how that turned out. So always keep it nice and uh, moist, but not too uh, runny with water. Keep it moist 
with paint. Put some more red and yellows here. Paint over your tape. So you've got a fence. So pretend like you are standing in someone's backyard and they have a fence and the sun is rising or the sun is setting, but the sky is not blue. Okay. The sky is becoming a mixture of all different colors. When it's starting to, to hail outside, the sky turns a little bit of a green color. Have you ever noticed that? When sometimes when, it, when the weather gets kind of scary, the sky can turn kind of green. So I want you to keep your paint nice and loose, nice and wet, and give yourself some really pretty blending in with this. Okay. It's nice and loose, nice and wet. If you take too long with this, it's not going to work. It's going to get dry and the colors are not going to blend. So you've got to keep your paint wet. It's prettier when you mix colors too. So don't just use straight red or straight orange. Always try and mix your colors and create your own colors instead of what the person that created the paint is telling you to use. Use them and, and make your own colors. Um, when you're going from one color to the next, it's also good to keep your brush nice and clean. So use clean water, swish it around, pat it on the paper towel. Don't, um, don't pull at it. It'll just pull the bristles out and you don't ever want to do that. Put some purple down here. So we're looking at the sky. Well, wouldn't this be pretty sunset to or sunrise to look at out your window? So this is just an imaginary sunset. I don't have a picture to look at. If you want to paint one like the one that you saw on the internet, you're welcome to try and do that too. But this one is just imaginary for me. Okay, so there we go. Okay, I created kind of a rainbowish looking scene. Yours does not have to look like this by any means. It can be whatever colors that you want it to be, except for blue. No blue. Um, you're going to take this and you're going to very gently, very slowly, so you don't tear it, you're going to pull up your tape. So the tape acted like a blocker. You're gonna pull it over to the side somewhere. Let's see here, out of the way. It's also called a relief. If you're using watercolor, you can do this uh, on watercolor paper with a white Crayola will do the same effect. You can put a white Crayola down and paint on top of it with watercolors and it will do the same thing for you. Okay, just, your paint's gonna be wet and yucky, so don't worry about that. Okay, I've got one more piece down here. If you wanna wait till it dries a little bit more before you do this, I'm just doing this for show purposes. Okay, and there we have it. So Marisol did not use blue for her class mural, and I didn't either, but you still have the effect of being outside and looking at the sky.